everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. And this is the card we're making today. Um, again, a male birthday card with a wooden background and some um, foliage on the front and then a happy birthday and on the inside decorated as well. So early espresso, basically. Early espresso? Yeah. And I am going to use some burlap here as well. So that's there and some sponging. We are using the Hey Youth stamp set. I know it's not in the catalog anymore, but I can't say goodbye to it. I really like these three sentiments. So just let me use it once more, please. Okay, <laughs> then we have hardwood and we have World of Dreams. Okay, so we are going to go straight into the stamping because I really feel like stamping, stamping. Right, so I've got my base card. I have then one of the insides, which is just the first size down for the mat. There we go. That's how did I do it here? Oh, well, yeah, that's a little bit different. And then just that one a couple of times. There we go. OK, so that's your inside. And maybe just repeat the sentiment as well. It's inked up properly. Yeah. There we go. And I didn't repeat it on here, so let's just do that as well. There we go. That's nice. Okay, so I also have... Let's put these to the side here because I know what I'm like. Uh, I also have envelopes, so let's do those as well because this is our foliage. This is the only foliage we're using and I didn't do the envelope for the example one, so I might as well do that now. There we go. And another one here. And the back flap. There we go. Alright, so that's envelopes done. Now, for the, um, that's the mat for the front, so that can go on to there as well. So that's ready. Okay, so now we are ready to stamp our background and I have my uh, hardwood here. I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it off first and then stamp it onto there. Stamped off and then what I like to do is make sure that I have, I'm looking underneath and I make sure that my whole piece of paper is under the stamp and not, I don't have a line there or at the bottom. Okay, so give it a good press and there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our sponge and there's lots of ink on the ink pad, on the ink, on the stamp as you can see and I'm just going to take that off just so that, you know, I'm not being wasteful. I'm using the ink that's already out of the ink pad. And we are going to sponge the sides. enough I'm going into it a little bit just dirting it up a bit but that's okay and now we have our foliage and let's see if we can ink it up really well and let's put um, one in the middle like that And one a little bit lower on the side. And one a little bit lower there. Okay. And this bit we cover up with there. Okay. Now I have the example here. Did I actually? Yes. What I did, look, I sort of stamped it so you could see the edges of the stems. But so that it looked like it was... 
continued yeah that's okay see so we have sort of a little bit of um, foliage there as well okay and then the next thing we need to stamp is the happy birthday did I have a bit of scrap for that I don't think so right so let's get it out oops it's not big enough yep here we have it and let's ink up the happy birthday and let's stamp it there punch it out and what i'd need now is my scrap of <clears throat> early espresso and let's take this out yep there we go that's that and i think we are ready so let's put this out of the way let's put this out of the way this onto the yep and let's bring in the cards again okay so here we have it this was the example these were the two envelopes we did ready this is the card so we have the card base we have the inside of the card which we will attach then we have the first mat and then the second mat on which we stamped so let's Put some glue on there. And then let's glue this. Alright. And then this border is bigger than normal, so that's a little bit different. Oh, oh no, not that much to the side. What do we think? yep <clears throat> like that and then we have here my neighbors are a bit noisy um i put some double-sided tape on there but peeling it off is always a difficult thing because of course your book by lap moves along so i'll just put that up a little bit so you can see there we go and then, where are the dimensionals? Here, here. <clears throat> Some dimensionals on here. And let's put that there. And now all we need to do is put that on there. And we're going to do that with dimensionals because it does adhere quite well onto the burlap. And then bring that to the middle there. There we go. All right. So, aha, uh -huh, I have forgotten. Mm. No, I have forgotten. And it's going to stay that way, I think. Actually, I think I could do it like that because everything else around it is brown as well. So it's not going to make... There we go. That's not going to be a problem. Right. So here we have it. There's our two cards with matching envelopes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.